Hello everybody, it's day 38 of my carnivore diet adventure, so uh, welcome, thanks for watching. Um, what do I want to talk about today? Let's just do the, let's do the um, numbers and get those out of the way first. So basically lost a tenth of a kilo from yesterday, so basically the same. Um, I, I woke up again in the night, had a big mixed sleep, but it said it was good, so I'm going to roll with what it said. Um, got basically 7,000 steps. Had a little bit more to eat today, which I was happy about. I've been too far below where I needed to be, I think, and um, that's one of the advantages to keeping track of it. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> but still, the carbs were pretty low today at 25, <clears throat> so I was happy with that. Um didn't go to the gym though. I had lots of meetings today and then very positive meetings actually. And I had a really good day. So from that perspective, I had a great day today and it just created a lot of work and a lot of stuff to do. And it meant that I worked late and I just, I was tired and I was mentally tired and I just couldn't face going to the gym. So I didn't go. Um, so that's everything. That's the boring bit out of the way. What I did want to talk about I mean, basically nothing happened today. So one of the things that I did look at, though, is I just realized that the the BMR calculation that I've been using, so for my basal metabolic rate, is one that I used when I started trying to lose weight a few years ago because I had some kind of weird heart problems and stuff, and, and I was out of shape and I was too heavy. And... What I'd completely forgot is that I took the the BMR calculation and then I subtracted 400 calories from it at the end so that I would, the idea was, is that if I could just match the BMR number every day, that I would automatically be putting myself at a, a small caloric deficit every day and that over time that would chip away at it fast forward to now that was that was pre-covid so fast forward to now and i had completely forgot that i had still had that minus 400 in the calculation and so i've taken that out to get it back to the number where it should be which is about i mean allegedly it says i need 1900 calories but i I've never done very well if I had that if I had that many calories before I would always put on weight. So I th I'm keen to try it and see how it goes on the carnivore diet. Um but anyway, that was the thing. So I guess my question to people out there if if, if there's anyone watching is is there a new calculation because everything that I know um, it's basically, I mean, it's the same calculation, I think, that they've been using for quite a long time. And I know, so I guess my question to the, to, to the world is, is there one that's like a, one that a carnivore diet doctor would recommend? I know I can Google this. I haven't Googled it yet. It literally, that question just popped into my mind. And I actually like having a little bit of interaction with anybody that might be listening and maybe building up a bit of community around it. So I'll leave it for a couple of days and see if anybody has an answer or can point me in the right direction or somebody will come back and go, yeah, no, that's the same calculation that we've been using for 80 years and it's still pretty accurate. If that's the answer, that's cool. That's the answer. Um, but I just, I'm curious to know because I know there's a lot of stuff that's recommended that isn't correct or it's not what we would do on a carnivore diet, like the amount of protein that you need to eat and the amount of fat, etc. So again, just trying to think if there's some new calculation, maybe I could use that. If anybody wants to get into the weeds with it, just ask me and I'll, I'll put in the calculation that I'm using. I think it's a pretty standard one and it's based off of your the, the only variables really are your weight and your age and everything else in it is a is like a fixed number 
so it just varies based on how much you weigh um so yeah anyway that's that's my big question for the day the other one was i wanted to what i thought about doing was actually just going through the spreadsheet on one of these i was going to do it tonight but then the tool i was going to use i couldn't get it to work right so i didn't have the time to mess around with it it's already 10 45 at night so i figure i'll maybe try and do it this weekend but if i can get that working the way i want it to then what i'll do is i'll do like a a split screen and then I can show you on one side the spreadsheet and I can talk through the different columns and how I calculate everything and I just thought it might be a little bit more interesting than me just saying yeah I've had another day on the diet and I ate some peanuts like do you know what I mean I'm trying to think something that's a little bit more substantial to talk to people about so that's um, coming I wanted to do it today but I just couldn't work it out so I will try and do that and then in that one, at least, you can see the calculations that I use, and I can explain my thought process behind it, and then everybody can yell at me for doing it wrong or doing the wrong thing or whatever. But, yep, that's it. Um, don't really have much else to say. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.